Y'all remember this tooth? Potentially the rarest shark tooth I've ever found. I'll put a link to that video in case you haven't seen it. But anyway, I took it over to my geologist buddy, Jedi Master, this weekend, and I asked him, what do you think this is? And he said, looks like a nototus to me. And I told him where I found it. And I said, how in the world does an ototus end up in Somerville, South Carolina? And he explained that during a mega earthquake, sometimes it causes geysers to blast up from the aquifer and they carry with them uh, sometimes deposits that they shoot through. And so around here, the aquifer is Cretaceous. And so it would have to go through the Paleocene and early Eocene deposits, which could potentially contain an ototus. And those end up on the surface. And guess what? This was really near the fault. And so there's confirmation that this is an uh, ototus. Now, he told me a story of hunting in a, a Miocene site down near Beaufort, and he found a credo lamna, and he showed it to me, pulled it out of his case, and he said, I kept this because it's so rare, uh, but that's how it got there, and that's how your tooth got uh, in Somerville. So this is 100% an ototus, and it is absolutely the rarest shark tooth I ever found, an ototus obliquus from Somerville, South Carolina. does that look like? That looks like a mag tooth. <sighs> That's a big one. Was not expecting one like that. My goodness. Oh, I thought this one was going to be killer. It's big though. Four and seven eighths inches. Got some good color on it. Decent root. Man, that tip though. They didn't have to eat this would easily be a five right at three inches on this megalodon tooth first thing i saw was that broken root so i didn't film it probably could have but oh well maybe next time good colors on it though we'll count it towards the total beater meg tooth three and a quarter inches whole enough to count towards the total found it like that knew it wasn't going to be a great one so i didn't film this one either still got some of those shells on there so you know this thing's sitting at the bottom of the ocean at one point of course you know this was a shark so it was sitting at the bottom of the ocean on multiple points but look at that oyster uh mark right there on the back isn't that cool massive angus Dyden. oh what could have been this thing is right at four inches right now if it didn't have to eat, probably be four and a quarter. Missing that cusp over there. Roots all eaten up, but look at those serrations. Still really sharp. Always love finding the big teeth. Dug that one out. Not too bad. Four and a quarter inches on that Megalodon tooth. Real nice color. Just worn, like most of them are. It happens, they get tossed around in the waves and then the sand blasted in the rivers. So it's amazing that any of them get to a hole. Got a good root, you can still see some serrations. Real nice one, real happy with that. All right, so it's a big tooth kind of day today. Found some smaller stuff, but it was all broken. So I'm just gonna show you this. Got four more megs from Sloth Party, bringing the grand total up to 130 awesome unprecedented for any landslide i have ever been to got a huge angus Dyden, also a shamer and we got an update on that tooth pretty wild story huh well i hope y'all like that video please subscribe if you haven't done and if you have thank you very much also make sure you sign up for those notifications so you can tell when i put up a new video because i'm always hunting something and we will catch you next time. Till then, happy hunting.